with re- or with our regular season. We feel feel really good about what happened with our two exhibition games. Um, you know, felt great about the Colorado game, especially early in the contest. And our guys have been locked in and ready to get uh, ready to get started tomorrow. Well, it's uh, we've been able to address a lot of things. You know, obviously the rebounding is something that will get tested again tomorrow. Uh, Western Illinois has great size, uh, especially in their front court, uh, starting six seven, six ten, six ten. So, you know, it's going to be a battle uh, for us, and uh, and we'll certainly get tested. They do a good job crashing. Uh, hopefully, we can get the ball off the glass and, and get out in transition. We're we're, we're certainly at our best. <coughs> Yeah, we, we've got a we've got a pretty good feel for where we are heading into it. Um, you know, we've got two guys that'll be game time decisions tomorrow. With with Kobe, with, with his back is is still bothering him a little bit, and uh, and with Lat with his ankle. So you know, hopefully those guys will get another treatment, uh, successful treatment today, and then obviously get a couple before the game uh, tomorrow. And like I said, we'll make a decision <clears throat> probably pretty close to game time if either of those guys will be able to go. Uh, and that's what it's about. If you do have Injuries and other guys have to be ready to step up. You know, next man up mentality, and um, you know that's what you work for is to get those types of opportunities when they present themselves and take advantage of them. Uh, so we, we feel good. As I said earlier, uh, we've got a lot of depth on this team. Uh, you can't play everybody. That's just uh, just the nature of it. But you know, at some point, guys are going to get an opportunity to go out there uh, over the course of a long season, and uh, and again, just making sure they take advantage of that uh, when that opportunity presents itself. Yeah, yeah, our, our guys have been really good, and <clears throat> you know now the challenge is making sure we continue to carry over, um, you know, from the exhibition to the regular season, and just to continue to go out and make simple plays. We had one stretch I thought in the Colorado game where we where we tried to get a little fancy. When we kept it simple, when we moved the ball, we had great possessions. Uh, when we didn't, that's where we got ourselves into trouble, and, and that's where we struggled. So, you know, a lot of learning lessons that we've had. And uh, you know, continue to go out and play uh, through good times, bad times, and anything in between. We you know we didn't hit a lot of adversity. We had one tough stretch against Colorado, um, you know, but that's what's going to define us is how we handle those tough moments uh, and continue to do the things uh, that make us successful uh, when those times hit. Yeah, that, that that was a big part of it. I thought our bigs really battled. When I look back at the film and, uh, you know, Derek and Wilhelm specifically, I thought those guys did their job of getting into bodies and then our guards, whether they leaked out or did not create contact to create that rebound area, uh, that's where a lot of those second chance opportunities came uh, with Colorado with the 23 offensive rebounds. Uh, but again, if we can get it, especially our guards, you know, you know, now you don't have to worry about the outlet. You can get the ball up the floor quicker and uh, and get into our flow offense. So, you know, it is. It's something that we, we have worked on. We work on blockout drills every day. Now it's carrying those over. And especially, you know, the challenge, again, when guys get tired, that's really when you have to fall back on those habits that you work on every day. So, you know, I'm, I'm confident we'll get better <clears throat> than, uh, than what we did in the exhibition. And if we do that, if we can clean up the glass, I think we're going to have a great year. Well, you know, let me just give a little background on on Lift Every Voice and Sing. Um, you know, going back to last year, uh, the National Association of Basketball Coaches uh, asked schools across the country uh, to consider playing Lift Every Voice. Uh, it was a very challenging time in our country, and uh, it was a way to promote uh, unity and inclusion. And you know, as a, as a conference, uh, the schools that stay out during the anthem, um, everybody played it. And you know, had a decision to continue on with that. And in talking to Trev and in talking to Amy, we have decided to continue on. We will change the format of it. Um, the anthem will be played first. Uh, we will clear the flag, and, and then uh, again to promote unity and inclusion, we will uh, play "Lift Every Voice" after that. So, um, yeah, you know, we've heard a lot of positive feedback, and obviously a lot of negative feedback on it. But you know, I've been really proud of our team the last couple of years for using their platform um, you know, to address issues uh, that have been going on in our country and, and hopefully, hopefully promote change. You know? But for us, you know, we feel as sport 
uh, hopefully can help be an example. We have players from all over the country, all over the world, uh, that have to come together and, uh, and play for each other and, and be one and come together. And obviously, we need to be better in our country in that area. So uh, again, in, in talking to uh, Trev, Amy, uh, we have decided to, but we will change the format of it. Well, I think I think Trey's been really good. I think he's especially you know when Trey goes out there and makes simple plays and plays under control. Um, you know he's uh, what what when he can get into the paint and make those plays, which which Trey certainly can do. It really helps our offense. Um, you know he is shooting the ball well right now. He just really hasn't had a lot of op opportunity. But I've been proud of him for not trying to force the issue and just take what the defense is giving him. Uh, you know overall his assist to turnover ratio. Uh, when we started going all the way back into our summer has, has been excellent. So, you know, he's really grown in that area. And, and we feel good right now when Trey has the ball in his hands that he's going to make the right play. Yeah, I, you know, we, we obviously all think the world of Bryce, you know, first and foremost as a kid. He's one of the most humble kids uh, that I've ever been around, especially for a player that has as much hype as he's had uh, growing up as a basketball player. I think he's handled it phenomenally and he's is, is an unbelievable teammate uh, for, for our guys. It was great to see him, uh, you know, get it going, kind of close it at the end of the Colorado game. Um, you know, we feel really confident with him with the ball in his hands, making the right decision. and. Um, you know, there's going to be ups and downs. It does every freshman that takes the, that makes the jump from high school to major college basketball. There's an adjustment in play, and you know we think and know that uh, that Bryce will have a great year. Uh, you know, not to say there's not going to be some ups and downs along the road, and that's just part of this game. You know, especially for young players. But uh, you know where he started and where he is now. Um, you know, he's he's a very confident player, and it, it was great to see him lead us in scoring and, and again hit that three. Uh, they kind of close the deal against Colorado. Yeah, I mean, it, it, he's one of those guys. Every time it leaves his hand, I think it's going in. And uh, you know, the other thing that he has shown is is really good decision making in the pick and roll. And uh, you know, he's certainly grown as a defender since he's been here. He's using his length uh, better. He had a, a really good stretch of rebounding. Uh, the other night, you know, I've just been proud of his growth as an all-around player because that was the reputation that he was a scorer, uh, but he's really worked. He puts a lot of time in. He's always coming back in for extra work. Um, you know, put on almost 20 pounds since he's been here, so he's got a, a great work ethic and it is paying off for him. Yeah, yeah, I know the play you're talking about, Trey. Uh, you know, he tried to throw the lob, and he had Case. We have to find Case in transition. We have to find uh, um, CJ in transition, Keon in transition, uh, Wilhelm in transition. We've got a lot of guys <clears throat> that are capable shooters, and if we continue to run uh, the way we're supposed to and build those habits, <clears throat> we're going to get a lot of those shots. Uh, so, you know, biggest thing is just watching film and you know going back and making sure we understand when we make simple plays, we get good quality possessions. Whether the shot goes in or not, we get a high percentage shot. We've been pretty good. You know, we we have limited transition. We had a couple of live ball turnovers that led to pick sixes for uh, Colorado. That kind of got them back into the game. Uh, so to me, it was more about taking care of the ball than actually the transition portion of it getting back. But uh, you know, for the most part, I've been very pleased with uh, with with our early season transition defense. And generally, that's where you after you watch and play other opponent, where you see uh, a lot of growth. Now, you know, those teams were more opportunistic running teams. Um, you know, we need to continue to, again, we, we have rules on, on crashing, and we just have to follow those rules. And, and for the most part, we've done that so far.
Well, you know, the, the biggest thing is just getting getting Kobe healthy and uh, and getting him ready for the long season ahead. But um, you know, he listen. It's his second year here now. Uh, you know, we felt he had some great moments for us a year ago, and you know, the priority right now is just making sure we get Kobe healthy.